480 BC, when Themistocles defeated the Persians at the Battle of Salamis, he saved not only Athens, but also its young democracy, which had been born about 25 years earlier. For Athens, the age of the single ruler, for Athens, the age of the single ruler was over. Athens was rich in military might, treasure, technology, and ideas. She was poised for her golden age, and one man would take her there. His name was Pericles, a democrat and enlightened intellectual who encouraged the arts. But Pericles would also expand Athenian power through any means, including threats, bribery, and naked force. Pericles came from one of the old aristocratic families of Athens, so he came from the kind of family background in which a career of political and military leadership was expected. His rise to power began when he was elected as a young man to the position of strategos, one of ten such men who commanded the army and set foreign policy. A natural at politics and a gifted orator, Pericles was soon Athens' most influential and powerful statesman. Pericles was the typical political animal, if you like. This guy was a politician. He uh, was able to speak and convince. He was completely dedicated to what he did. Pericles became leader of Athens in 461 BC. Thanks to the fleet of triremes Themistocles had built, the Athenian navy held unrivaled power in the eastern Mediterranean. Pericles was a master politician born from the rich. He's going to unite Greece under a democracy, so he's not king, but he's in charge. So we're going to see what he does with Themistocles' triremes, see if he can kind of build the Greek empire into something bigger than Persia. Pericles, the golden age. But despite the defeat of the Persian empire at Salamis, the threat of another invasion was always looming. In 478 BC, Athens, together with the city-states of the Aegean, formed a mutual defense alliance called the Delian League, the ancient world's version of NATO. By 450 BC, Athens has become the undisputed leader of the Delian League, which is nothing more than a money faucet for the city-state. But Pericles, as undisputed leader of Athens, finds ways to put this money to the best possible use by building massive public structures that best reflect the grandeur and magnificence of Athens.